In the world of One Piece, there's a rare phenomenon of Devil Fruit awakening that only a handful of characters have managed to achieve. This mysterious process makes Devil Fruit users infinitely more powerful and grants them many impressive new abilities. So today, we'll be explaining all 10 Devil Fruit users who managed to awaken their powers, starting with the strongest member in CP9's history, Rob Lucci. At some point in his life, Lucci ate the Neko Neko no Mi, model Leopard, and despite it obviously granting him the ability to turn into a human leopard, this Fruit also dramatically increased his physical strength, as shown when he easily threw Luffy and Zoro through a building across the whole city. Upon awakening this fruit, Luchi's hybrid form undergoes a physical transformation where its size increases, his body becomes more slim, and a dark flame forms a mane down his back and arms. Luchi mostly uses this fruit to make his Rokushiki techniques like Shigan and Ronkyaku more powerful, utilizing claws on his fingers and the strength in his legs. He also learned to use Seimei Kikan, which allows him to freely manipulate his body parts. Luchi mostly uses this to shrink and compress his muscles, transforming him into a smaller, more human form in which he's much faster than usual. Although Luchi had incredible growth throughout the series and became much stronger, he ultimately proved to be no match for Luffy in his gear fifth form and thereafter deserves to be placed in A tier. Charlotte Katakuri Katakuri is the strongest sweet commander of the Big Mom Pirates and the governor of the Komugi Island. His devil fruit is called Mochi Mochi no Mi, and it's a special paramecia devil fruit that allows him to create, control, and transform into Mochi. Katakuri uses this ability in many unique ways, like transforming his leg into Mochi and using it as a weapon, creating thick Mochi and using it to entrap his opponents, and even enlarging his limbs to a gigantic size and stretching them to increase his attack range. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy could even make a subscribe button out of Mochi and then make people click it. Please, guys, just subscribe so I can stop making these stupid subscribe jokes every video. Thanks. Anyway, on the one hand, Katakuri's fruit is pretty similar to Luffy's fruit, as it allows Katakuri to extend his limbs. But one major difference is that due to Mochi Mochi no Mi being a special paramecia fruit, Katakuri can also fully transform his body into Mochi, similar to Logia users. Once Katakuri mastered and awakened this fruit, it even enabled him to transform nearby material into Mochi, greatly enhancing the range of his attacks and allowing him to manipulate the environment to his advantage. Even though Katakuri eventually lost his 21 episode long fight against Luffy, it's obvious that he's an incredibly strong strong fighter and therefore deserves to be placed in A tier. There are still eight more extremely powerful characters left to cover, and the next one is the puppet master, Don Quixote Do Flamingo. Do Flamingo is a former warlord of the sea who ate Ido Ido no Mi, a paramecia type devil fruit that allows him to create and manipulate strings. Do Flamingo usually uses this fruit by bending his fingers to move strings as he pleases and manipulates people like puppets. He can also use these strings to cut his targets and destroy their weapons, show when he managed to cleanly sever Little Lord Jr.'s leg in one swift motion and even decapitate Crocodile. His defensive capabilities are also no joke, as he could cross his strings to form a net, slicing in half an asteroid in order to protect himself. Due to him mastering the power of this fruit, he managed to awaken it, which made him an even bigger monster. His awakened fruit allows him to transform the ground and buildings around him into strings and use them for his attacks. When utilizing this new power, Doflamingo tends to stay on the ground, shaping his strings into sharp tentacles and unleashing them down on targets. In addition, these new awakened strings can also be infused with armament hockey, granting Doflamingo even more offensive power. It's needless to say that Doflamingo was one of the strongest warlords in the series, and therefore B tier should be a fitting place for him. Awakening a Zoan Devil Fruit can be a bit different than Paramecia Awakening, as it comes with the risk of the animal's nature consuming the user. This can cause them to lose their personalities and become simple-minded beasts, which is exactly what happened to the next characters on the list, the Awakened Zoans of Impel Down. These characters are Mino Zebra, the user that ate Zebra Fruit, Mino Rhinoceros, the user that ate Rhino Fruit, Mino Taurus, the user who ate Holstein Cow Fruit, and Mino Koala, the user that ate Koala Fruit. The four awakened Jailer Beasts are the most feared creatures within Impel Down due to their great strength, bloodlust, and ruthlessness. Due to them being awakened Zoan users, they're also incredibly durable and recover from injuries really fast. However, even with these abilities, they can still be relatively easily defeated by strong fighters such as Luffy, Jinbei, and Crocodile. It's also important to mention that although they're the strongest guards, there's some stronger people working in prison, such as Magellan, Hannibal, and maybe even Saudi. These Zoan users are obviously the weakest characters on the list so far and deserve to be placed in D tier. Kaku Kaku is currently a member of CP0, the strongest intelligence organization working directly under the world nobles. We were first introduced to Kaku during the Water 7 arc, and later during Ennis Lobby, we witnessed him acquiring the power of Ushi Ushi no Mi, model Giraffe. This Zoan type devil fruit allowed Kaku to transform into either hybrid or full giraffe form at will. 
Although giraffe is a mostly harmless animal, Kaku quickly demonstrated how effective and deadly this fruit can be in the right hands, especially when combined with his Rokushiki skills and the Four Swords style, allowing him to overpower Zoro in battle and almost defeat him. Upon awakening his fruit, Kaku could assume a new, much more powerful hybrid form, which greatly enhanced his physical strength, speed, as well as his recovery rate. In this form, his already long giraffe neck becomes even longer and serpent-like, enabling him to perform powerful cutting movements with it. Same as Luchi, Kaku didn't lose his personality while awakening this Zoan fruit, which made him infinitely stronger than Impel Down Jailers who completely lost their identity due to the fruit's power. As noted by Zoro, the only real weakness of this devil fruit is having a long and very exposed neck that can be easily exploited. However, despite this, Kaku proved himself to be a pretty tough opponent for Straw Hats, and I think B-Tier would be a perfect place for him. With this, we're exactly halfway through the video, which means that there's still five more characters who fully managed to awaken their devil fruit powers. So let's continue with the one you may not know about, Guild Tesoro. Tesoro was the owner of the largest entertainment city ship in the world and served as the main antagonist of the One Piece film, Gold. The fruit he ate is called Goro Goro no Mi, and it allows him to manipulate gold at will. For example, he can quickly change the state of gold to either liquid or solid and can shape it in any way he desires. He can even encase living beings in gold, turning them into golden statues. In terms of defensive abilities, Tesoro can cover his own body with gold, creating a strong golden armor that's hard enough to withstand extremely powerful attacks, including hits from Gear 4 Luffy and cuts from Zoro's three sword style techniques. Since consuming this devil fruit, Tesoro has been able to awaken his powers, gaining even further influence over gold. This enabled him to use all of the gold on the ship as an observation system, allowing him to detect break ins or attacks on the city. With this, he also gained the ability to unleash explosive beams of metallic energy that were powerful enough to destroy the entire marine warship. Although this fruit is extremely powerful, it has some weaknesses. Namely, Tesoro can't create any new gold. He can only use the gold present in his surroundings, which means that this fruit is pretty much useless if there's no gold lying around. I mean, no wonder this guy lived on a huge floating casino. Eustace Kidd Captain Eustace Kidd is a notorious pirate from South Blue, as well as one of the strongest members of the worst generation. Kidd ate the Jiki Jiki no Mi, a paramecia-type devil fruit which allows him to create magnetic forces and use them to control metal. Kidd makes excellent use of his devil fruit during combat. For example, he can repel metallic objects away from himself, such as cannonballs, or attract objects within his vicinity and create mechanical contraptions. This ability also makes him extremely powerful against fighters who use metal weapons, as he can easily disarm them using his devil fruit and use their weapons as building materials. However, Kid's favorite way to use his fruit's power is to form gigantic metallic arms connected to his actual ones and use them in close range combat. After fully mastering and awakening his devil fruit, Kid unlocked a new ability to manifest magnetic properties onto his targets. This basically means that if Kid targets someone with a significant amount of metal surrounding them, they'll quickly be crushed, with force being strong enough to even rip large structures towards them. He can also stick opponents to a piece of the environment like a magnet, rendering them immobilized and vulnerable to all attacks. Despite his newly awakened abilities being incredibly strong, Kid is not yet used to them and, therefore, only uses them as a last resort during tough battles. With this in mind, I don't think I can place Kid any higher than B tier. Truffle Guard D. Waterlaw Same as Kid, Law is also a pirate captain and one of the strongest members of the worst generation. His devil fruit is called Ope Ope no Mi, and it allows him to create a force field in which he can freely modify anyone or anything. This fruit is renowned for allowing Law to perform miraculous surgeries and cure untreatable diseases. It's also known as the ultimate devil fruit because of its unique power to grant another person eternal youth in exchange for the user's own life. For this reason, the world government is willing to pay 5 billion bellies to anyone who can deliver this fruit to them. Besides the fruit's medical capabilities, Law is also very skilled in using it during combat, either to redirect attacks coming at him or to disarm his opponents. Furthermore, the Obe Obe no Mi makes Law well-suited at fighting long-range battles since he can practically control the entire fighting area as long as his powers are active. Having achieved the awakening of this fruit, Law became capable of coding objects with the space-distorting essence, allowing him to increase their size or make them phase through targets. Law primarily utilizes these new powers with his sword, releasing powerful internal shockwaves on his victims after piercing them. Although Law's Devil Fruit is arguably among the strongest ones on this list, since he's still not used to its full powers, I can't really put him in S tier. Before we cover the strongest awakened Devil Fruit user on this list, let's quickly go over one of the former members of the Roger Pirates, Douglas Bullet. During his youth, Bullet was a member of the Roger Pirates and was later captured and imprisoned and impelled down for over 20 years. However, after Luffy and Blackbeard broke into the prison, he escaped with other inmates. Bullet ate the Gosha Gosha no Mi, a paramecia type devil fruit that allows him to telekinetically disassemble and reassemble objects into whatever he pleases. With the fruit's power, Bullet could create large mechanical structures, including submarines and robot suits, in order to increase his fighting prowess. Like other characters on this list, he also managed to awaken his fruit, which allowed him to manipulate objects from a much greater 
greater range and even restructure the landscape of entire islands as he saw fit. Bullet can also use this power on himself along with Armament Hockey in order to enter a powered state, similar to how Luffy enters his Gear 4 forms. In this state, his body turns shining blue with red eyes, and his arms are expanded and compressed to grant him maximum offensive power. One major downside to this fruit, though, is that it's entirely dependent on the resources Bullet has at his disposal, and he also must know exactly what he's making and how it's made, meaning it's also limited by his mechanical knowledge. Ultimately, since Bullet isn't a canon character, I can't place him any higher than C tier. Monkey D. Luffy as we all know at the beginning of the series, Luffy ate the Gomu Gomu no Mi, a Paramecia-type devil fruit that granted his body the properties of rubber, effectively turning him into a rubber human. However, only recently in the manga did we discover that Luffy's fruit is actually called Hito Hito no Mi, model Nika, and that it's actually a mythical Zoan fruit that allows Luffy to turn into the Sun God. According to the Five Elders, this fruit has not been awakened for centuries before Luffy did it, and based on their reactions, it's clear that they're terrified of its power. The first time he awakened this fruit, Luffy's appearance changed drastically, with his hair and clothes turning white, his eyebrows resembling spirals, and steam wrapping all around him. However, this awakening didn't only change Luffy's appearance, as he also got many new combat abilities, such as freely manipulating the shape and size of his body, manipulating the environment around him like it's made of rubber, and even stretching anything he touches. With all these new abilities, Luffy was finally able to bring down one of the four emperors of the sea, Kaido, and if he managed to do that, the other characters on this list should pose no real threat to him. Therefore, Luffy is the first character that deserves to be in the S tier. Click on this video where we explained what would happen if some of the strongest One Piece characters ate devil fruits. 